All right, so it's a nice rainy day, so of course everything's wet and I can't do anything outside, but everything's in the garage and everything's cool. I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. This is actually choking me. I think I can make it. I got the dip in, but along with the actual dip kit for the car, I got a dip kit for the wheels. And I wanna show you what I'm going to do next. All right, as you can see here, I got all four wheels lined up. You're probably going, why are they gray? Why are they not black? Well, because I stripped all of the black plastic dip that was on there off with this right here. It actually came, well, I purchased this because I knew it would be about impossible to get off, but uh, this is the dip dissolver from dipyourcar.com. Uh, took about three tries to get all of the dip off. Uh, I only had like maybe three or four coats on the wheels, so it didn't just peel off like it should have. Of course, I didn't know that at the time. That was like five years ago. Uh, so what you basically all you got to do with that stuff is spray it on the wheels all over like that. Get it nice and wet and let it sit for two or three minutes. Uh, by the time you get to the last wheel there, it's about time to check the first wheel. Wipe your finger across if it comes up easily. Uh, your best bet is to use a pressure washer and try to spray it off. I don't have a pressure washer, so I just used a hose with uh, like a jet sitting on it and uh, a little brush. Where's my brush? Where'd my brush go? Oh yeah, this little brush over here. Oh, well, that's my bumper. So I use a little brush right here, just kind of scrub it, and uh, after about three three attempts uh, on all of them, it all came off. And as you can see, the paint underneath was. Not the greatest of shape, but at least it's something that will, will allow the new dip to adhere. And I'm gonna just do it in the garage here because to be honest, the dip spray really doesn't go that far. Uh, the plastic dip spray there. And as you can see here, uh, this is basically everything that comes in the kit. Uh, this is actually just a little piece of a microfiber towel that comes in the kit as well. I just cut a little square, at least that's what Fonzie recommends. Thank you, Fonzie. Uh, so this did not come in the kit, but I highly recommend it if you're trying to get rid of uh, a bunch of dip that won't peel up. Uh, first off, it comes with the pre-dip spray. This is actually what you clean the wheels with. So I guess once you uh, just give them a good soapy rinse with some uh, hot water and soap, and then when they're dry, use this. You spray it on a microfiber towel and just wipe down uh, each part of the wheel. Trying to get all the grease and stuff off so that the dip can actually adhere properly. Uh, this right here is the, what do you call this, the dip release agent. And what this is, you put this on this little microfiber square right there and you wipe it along the sidewall of the tire. Try not to get it on the uh, actual wheel itself. So you wipe along the sidewall of the tire and just get it rubbed in real good. And what that will do is allow the actual dip to just peel off and you just, you'll get this big ribbon of dip that comes off the tire and it actually allows you to get a, a good uh, coating on the outside of the wheel. You can really get in there, not to worry about trying to mask this off and all that mess. Originally, I was gonna deflate it, put some blue tape around it, and uh, I tried to do it that way and I realized that, hey, the kit actually comes with this stuff, so that's good. Now, for the color I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go for the copper. Uh, copper metal, this is the metalizer, plastic dip metalizer. Uh, it's pretty neat stuff. As you can see over here, I've got uh, four cans of just regular flat black plastic dip. This is what everybody used, you know, five years ago when it first came out. Everybody wanted to do their wheels. Um, and it's, I mean, it's amazing stuff, you know. It's uh, uh, mine, uh, I think I told you in the last video that mine only came off when somebody actually tried to change the tires out and they just, they scuffed it off. And to be honest, if it's black, I just spray over it and it's not that big of a deal. But I'm gonna go with color now. I got brand new tires. Um, so I'm not worried about that for long. I guess when it comes down to getting new tires again, which hopefully will be like, you know, a year and a half, two years from now, I'll just redo the wheels if I have to. Otherwise, hopefully I'll find somebody that actually knows how to change wheels without, oh, I don't know, maybe screwing them up. We'll do one light coat, and then we'll do a little bit heavier coat for the second, and a little bit heavier coat for the third, a little bit heavier coat for the fourth, and then whatever's left in the can, I'll just go back over any spots that I think need it. And then uh, you don't need as much metalizer, that's why there's only three cans of that. And you'll do like two, maybe three coats of the metalizer over top of the black, and it'll really 
give it that like uh, like fresh penny color. More of like a dirty penny, which is what I really want anyways. Uh, but we're gonna do that. So I will start working on these as soon as we get back from dinner. And hopefully they will look good. Obviously the car's not dipped yet. Uh, still yellow, I've got all the wheels off because I have been working on getting the bumper, since that's my stock bumper. Uh, I've been working, yeah, I know it's a mess. I'm very busy. I've uh, been working on getting the stock bumper off, which I did that last night. And I was trying to redo this little edge here. I, I think at one point this had been hit and this was actually kind of bowed out a little bit more, but I was able to uh, wrap this end here with a bunch of electrical tape and blue tape and just kind of knock it with a piece of wood behind it and get it back straight. Um, it really wasn't anything crazy, but it was something that really only I would ever notice, but I noticed things like that and then they just make me cringe. Uh, I also noticed that I have a bulb that burned out, so I've got to go get a little tiny bulb. I don't even know what kind of bulb that is. Five watt. Obviously I can't go drive and get one. What else we got going on? The I think the red calipers are not going to look good. With the color I'm going to do on the car, and then the copper, bronzy, gold wheels I'm going to have, red calipers aren't going to look good. I think I'm going to have to go back to black. It's already got caliper paint on them. I think I'm just going to go with like a high temp brush on kind of paint. They might have caliper paint. I don't know. We'll see. Let me, I, I got to go to freaking advance or whatever figure it out. Anyways, I'm going to work this week on the bumper prep. I'm not going to film any of that because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm, I really don't feel like uh, filming a bunch of mistakes and fails. But uh, I'll let you know about the mistakes and fails. Believe me, there's plenty of them. I did have to go get a jumble today to drill all the holes for the bumper. So I've done the, the holes on the bottom. I found that I'm going to have to get some of that, uh, what do they call it, uh, plumber's bracketing or whatever to make it actually connect because the bottom of the bumper is about that far away from the little shields, the little uh, rain shields up under the front of the car. And I don't, I guess I don't understand why that would be. I, I think that Vicrez would have just put an extra inch and a half of plastic there. I, I don't understand. So I got to figure that out too. But anyways, I digress. Um, we're going to go to dinner and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this. And that'll be real quick because it's just spraying stuff. It's pretty simple. Fonzie's got videos on it, but I want to show you my stuff. So we'll do that. All right, we are back from dinner. As you can see, it's just a little bit darker than it was before. You can actually see my face when I face this way. Um, oh yeah, you like my new red hat? The Z Doc. Guy's a Dotson genius here in Roanoke. Um, anyways, okay, so we're after the wheels and I'm just gonna show you a little quick run of what to do. You ready for this? How about some good music too? Let's do it. So luckily the humidity has dropped a little bit and everything has dried up pretty quick. But what I did was I used the pre-dip spray and cleaned the wheel off really well and then I used the dip release agent and just got a little bit on a microfiber towel and went around the actual tire itself, just the sidewall. And what that does, it'll allow the uh, dip to release off the tire so that I can just peel it off. I don't have to worry about masking it off or anything. So it, it, we'll see how that works, but it should come in handy. I did all four wheels. Uh, now we're going to start with the first uh, base coat of just the black matte plastic dip spray and aerosol. And I actually have one of the little sprayer majiggies. You don't necessarily need it, but my finger gets really tired when I start spraying this much stuff. So 
I'm gonna use it, uh, they're like literally $3 at Walmart. So if you don't have one, go get one. It's easy, it's cheap. So I'm gonna take these four wheels and just do a real light coat. Uh, I'm not trying to make a real thick wet coat or anything with it. And uh, just go around, try to get all the little nooks and crannies and fill it in. And then wait 15 minutes and do it again, wait 15 minutes, do it again, wait 15 minutes, do it again. Try to get at least four coats. So uh, let's get that done. By the way, this came in the kit and it should help quite a bit. Obviously the garage door is open so it's not that bad. But I'm still indoors and I'm still like right over top of the paint. So I'm going to use it. I'll definitely use this when I do the car obviously because it's going to be super enclosed. But uh, I'm going to use this tonight just to make sure it works well. Ready for the second coat. You don't care about third, fourth, fifth, whatever I get. By the way, the reason you put so many coats on is so that it's easier to peel off eventually when you need it, so that you don't have to do that uh, dip solver stuff. But uh, I'm just gonna keep on going. Uh, the next several coats are gonna be fairly thick. Uh, you do wanna be careful though that you don't let it run. Uh, so just be mindful of that. This stuff's actually pretty good about not running though. It lays really fast and it dries really fast and uh, goes on fairly evenly, so let's do it. So, it's uh, probably two and a half hours later, maybe two hours later, two hours later from the time I started uh, spraying these things. And I ended up putting like six coats on them just because I wanted to make sure they were good. And I've still got a can and a half left of the four. And the only thing I can contribute that to is that these are stock AP1 16 inch wheels. There's not a lot of surface area. And I'm pretty sure Fonzie is used to spraying like 20 inch Valson wheels. So I think that's probably what it does. But anyway, there's plenty of black plastic dip on these things. So now I've got the metalizer and I'll do uh, probably three coats of this. Then I think I'm done for the night. I'll just let them dry for probably 25 minutes after that and go ahead and peel everything off of the sidewall and then go to bed because I'm tired. And I had to bring a chair over here so I could sit down. Good morning, guys. It is uh, obviously the next day. I let them, I let the tires, or let the wheels dry overnight, and I uh, wanted to show you guys the finished product. This right here, I've already peeled off the excess around the actual uh, tire, and just gave it a good rub down um, with the one of the microfiber cloths. But check it out. All right, let me show you real quick how to actually peel off that excess amount like I was telling you uh, around the sidewall. So as you can see here, this is the one that I haven't done yet. So you got all the, all the plastic dip and the metalizer around the sidewall. You just take your finger, it kind of smudges up.
So it comes off in a nice long strand there. This one just happened to break. Yeah, but it's going to do that sometimes. You take your microfiber cloth, and down in those little grooves, there's going to be a little bit left. As you can see, you can just rub a little bit and they come right out. And that's it. Obviously, the valve stem's been painted, but loosen them up, they come right off. No big deal. They're not like stuck on there like if you'd actually really painted it. Uh, so I'm going to do the uh, last two tires here and uh, go ahead and put them back on the car so I can uh, actually be able to go somewhere today if I have to. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. There we go.